Lastly, let's head up to the Twin Cities to check in on the Vikings at home in Minneapolis. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Carolina Panthers. Kirk Cousins, terrific in the victory as his guys get to 10 wins and run their mark to 10 and three. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And the half will begin with a touchback. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as he'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots down the field. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Winston now from the 50. He'll get that complete to Albert O. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It's a loss of four. Now third down. Working out of the gun, Winston. And this is going to be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got on the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. Over the middle. Hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Back to throw. Brown. Traffic and that's complete. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Looking to throw. Brown is going to fire one deep over the middle. And that is caught. One-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. A big play that time through the air. 36 yards. Pretty sensational. One-handed catch. And for a tight end, he's got... Not really... And now the red flag out on the field. We'll have a challenge forthcoming. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. Thank you. 
and one of the field is reversed. So a perfect time to throw the challenge. They thought this was a touchdown, and on second look, the officials concur. It is a touchdown. Back to throw. Brown to the goal line, but it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. This is Bowden, and he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Nick Bowden, his ninth touchdown of the season. And once again, the Jaguars are back out in front. Extra point tacked on by Lambeau, and that will make this a four-point game. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Throwing, Winston. Steps away to his left. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Trey Hendrickson able to record his fifth sack of the season. And the defense will spread the field a dime package here on third and 12. Winston now. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain Knight, and it's a good one. It's taken to the 26. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Jaguars go on offense first down and 10. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there. And I think we both agreed he could have a really good game with this matchup, but over 200 yards now. I don't think we saw it as that good. And I think what really makes it special is when games like this are occurring, it's not just getting locked in and in the zone and out of roll. It's continuing to adjust throughout the game because you know the defense is kicking coverages towards him, trying their best to slow him down, and he keeps getting the better of them. Yeah, whatever they've done, it hasn't worked. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. They'll look to throw again. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Finds the open target, Arnold. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Harris. Open space inside the 10. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Down near the goal line, things really get physical. You're always anticipating a running play, but when they do throw it, things happen quickly. 
A little bit of a bang-bang play there that falls incomplete. On second down, it's Harris. He gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Three tight ends up front here, third and goal. On the carry, it's Barton, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Nick Bonham. His 10th touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Jaguars are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Point after by Lambeau, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. And Lambeau now, after the touchdown, he'll kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now Winston. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Broncos on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and eight. To throw is Winston. This is Lazard with a catch out left. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Winston. He's got his big tight end fan. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. They'll throw again. Winston. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Meanwhile, Winston's throw there complete to Hamler. A gain of six there on first. Second down at four. Again, he'll drop to throw. Quick slant to Hamler. And that last throw, CD, going to move him even further up that all-time passing leaderboard as he just moved beyond Broadway Joe, Joe Namath, at 27,663 yards. And that's impressive because Joe Namath, my goodness, he could throw a football. I mean, it was just gorgeous the way he threw it. Rallied his Jets to a Super Bowl win, one of the greatest upsets in NFL history. Broadway Joe, the man. Quinn Miners, third round pick in 2021, called for the penalty. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. To the air again with Winston. That's complete to Lazard. 
They'll contain him to just four. Second down. to throw again. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sutton. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The Broncos on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and five. They'll drop to throw. Able to find Lazard. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 15-yard line. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Rolling to his right. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. That was a pretty scramble there by Jameis Winston, but I've got to tell you, partner, if you just put him in a regular event, just watch him run, you're not going to think that he's going to do that, but you turn on the bright light. And this is caught for a Bronco touchdown. Alan Lazard, his second touchdown on the season, and the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Winston to throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets him back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there. So glancing at these numbers, I think they tell a story of, hey, early on, he got hot, he got their attention. They've been able to hone in on him, shut him down a bit. He certainly did get their attention, and that's the ultimate compliment for a player, that when you come out in the second half, all of a sudden, there's extra guys around you. There are different coverages rolled your way. That means you've done something really well. Now, it's up to him to make his own adjustment and find a way to beat the new defenses he's facing. Brown now on first down. And yeah, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. On second down, this is Harris. And this Bronco defense really selling out to stop the run, and it pays off. They get him behind the line twice in a row. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Brown. Going to air it out deep for Gronkowski. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And the Broncos are right back in this football game. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. A golden opportunity for them now following the interception. They need to try to at least get three. Obviously, a touchdown puts them in a much more secure position. Throwing again on second and ten. Winston. This is the tight end fan. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. They'll roll him out right. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And he'll get it down here to the 43. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll make it second down. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Winston. Finding his safety valve here. That's complete. 
And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Well, they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. He's going to pick up a hold of the And that is incomplete. score down here we go they're gonna go for it here on fourth down desperation time Winston on fourth down and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over they had to go for it with such little time remaining and that's gonna be just about all she wrote for this one Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive and this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. On the give, this is their fullback. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. And this is where the metal part of the game comes into play. Defense is out of timeouts. Just hold on to the football. No sense really trying to score. They should be able to run this one out. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So this will be a win for Jacksonville. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. So for the Jags, it's a very important win as they move to nine and four now on the year. And they'll get another road date next week as their opponents will be the Tennessee Titans. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they're squarely in play for next year mode now as they drop to 2-11.